fish on the scene Franchise best on the team Blue faces busting out the scene New life is something like a dream Back out fresh on the scene Franchise best on the team Blue faces busting out the scene New life is something like a dream Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Ebony. All right you guys, let's wrap up the AMAs because child, it has been a hot mess. And the whole situation with Chris Brown just keeps getting messier and worse. Now you guys know the AMAs, I didn't watch the whole show and Nicki Minaj did win Best Female Hip Hop Artist. So congratulations to Nicki. Um, Nicki Minaj also extended her record as the female rapper with the most AMA wins in history. She has nine. So congratulations to her. Now, speaking of female rappers, it does seem that Lotto, unfortunately, the flourishing rapper, did lose every single category at the AMAs. Yoinks. Talk about a mess. I guess that flourishing only happens online. Allegedly. And that's my opinion. But yes, Lotto did lose every single category. Um, And so it is what it is. You also had Glorilla and Cardi B perform their song tomorrow too. Um, You know, it is what it is. Now, let's actually move on because there's some tea that I actually want to talk about so you guys know the whole situation with chris brown right chris brown was set to do a tribute to michael jackson for the 40th anniversary however two days before the show this is where we saw the amas cancel his set now what made this situation worse is that it almost felt like they replaced his set with cardi b performing in my opinion which wasn't worth it because let's be clear guess who was supposed to perform with chris brown sierra so you mean to tell me we missed out on chris brown Brown and Sierra on the same stage just to watch all these other people perform? Chell, you got to be kidding me. Now, Sierra did take to her social media and she pretty much said that it was canceled without even saying it. Sierra said this, MJ, thank you for the inspiration you've given us all. 40th anniversary, Chris Brown, you're a rare breed of this generation. Always fun to rock with you. You also had last night where Chris Brown did win Best R&B artist and you actually had a very sweet moment from kelly Rowland. check this out chris brown now chris brown is not here tonight so i'm accepting this award on his behalf excuse me Ch chill out but i want to tell chris thank you so much for making great r&b music and i want to tell him thank you for being an incredible performer i'll take this award bring it to you i love you congratulations and as you guys heard in the clip the crowd was actually booing chris brown being really disrespectful so i thought kelly Rowland handled that very well she was such a queen about it and at the end of the day you know it's just so unfortunate that we missed out on some good performing for some of these other acts that i don't don't feel actually satisfied the viewer all right you guys while working on this story you guys know i actually found out what really went down behind the scenes between chris brown and this michael jackson tribute and like i said before it had nothing to do with the jackson family so let's break this down i'm gonna give you guys some names and also job titles of who some of these executives are so you guys can kind of understand who i'm talking about throughout this situation so let's start off with this. Let's start off with a name by Stephen Hill. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Stephen Hill actually used to be the executive producer of programming at BET, okay? He also has a very close working relationship with Chris Brown. Now, Stephen Hill actually worked very closely with ABC Entertainment's um, president, Craig Enrich, who also agreed with Mr. Hill that Chris Brown deserved to make a return to TV. You guys know this would actually be the first time that a person who has been convicted of assaulting a woman during the Me Too movement was given a platform like being on TV. Now you guys know they've let a lot of other people on TV but this is just specifically to Chris Brown. Now when Stephen Hill and Craig who is the president of ABC Entertainment started working with Chris Brown and also rehearsing they got several calls from different executives in the industry and they started getting the following complaint why would you let someone who's been convicted of assaulting a woman vet or give tribute to someone that was accused of being with kids allegedly y'all see how people can still be exonerated like michael jackson but people still in some way try to bring up their past and try to tarnish their legacy
legacy. So the gist of this article is the fact that the AMAs in Disney are allegedly saying they did not know that Chris Brown was convicted of hurting Rihanna. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. How did you not know that Chris Brown had this situation with Rihanna? Like, this is the most wackest stuff that I've ever heard before. Like, are you kidding me? You mean to tell me that you allowed other people on your stage, but because of something that Chris did as a teenager, he can't be on the stage? It's just a hot mess. Now, after these executives kept calling the president of ABC, they also started calling the talent agency. And they basically said there is no reason for them to do this tribute on the Disney Channel because of these two individual backgrounds. Now, the ABC and also the Disney executives said that they wanted Chris Brown to do something different. They actually went to Chris Brown allegedly and said that they wanted him to possibly do something else. Now, we don't know if Chris Brown knew or not. This is what the actual article is saying and this insider is saying. So Chris Brown could have known or couldn't have known. Who knows? Maybe Chris Brown's talent agency knew. We don't know. But to have this man rehearsing for weeks and weeks and weeks on this mess just to come to him two days before the performance and to tell him he needs to change that doesn't even make no sense on top of that let's be very clear you had people on your stage last night talking about sex with children in the audience you had people on there cussing on stage because you didn't bleep out all the cuss words in front of kids you had people doing donuts on stage while kids are in the audience on the Disney Channel. You also had people talking about HOEs. You had people throwing up gang signs, allegedly. You also had people talking about the fact my best friend F on your N-word. Are you kidding me? But you didn't want a tribute to Michael Jackson, but you put somebody on your stage who allegedly admitted to robbing people? Make it make sense. And that's really all shade. See, y'all pick and choose who you want to hold accountable, but you got kids in the audience dancing to somebody calling another woman an HOE. That don't even make no sense. But let's be clear, they're all for it when we're tearing each other down. They're all for it when we calling each other female dogs. So yeah, you guys, as you see, it's just a hot mess. But for them to do this to Chris Brown, it just goes to show you that they don't really care about us. That's just my opinion. But at the end of the day, the AMAs were whatever. Like I said, I have seen the comments on social media and people really feel like they missed out. And I agree. I would have loved to see Sierra and Chris Brown but unfortunately we were stuck with all these other performances so let me know what you guys think about this down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a big thumbs up I love you guys so much and we'll talk very soon bye I'm back out fresh on the scene franchise best on the team blue face and busting out the scene new life is something like a dream back out fresh on the scene franchise best on the team blue face and busting out the scene new life is something like a dream